Hello everyone, this is Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com. Now today I wanna to talk about Uber. I'm no stranger to Uber. I do a lot of traveling, I cover a lot of contests in the fitness industry, and a lot of times I just don't wanna rent a car. I like the convenience of using my Uber or Lyft app. I like the convenience of having a ride to and from the airport. Uh, it, it's just very convenient. Uh, usually I'll do UberX. Sometimes if uh, I have a party of more than four people, I'll use XL. Every once in a while, I'll treat myself and I'll use Uber Select or Uber Lux. Um, now, the reason I wanna make this video is because Uber is now relaunching its autonomous uh, series. Uh, we all know about the uh, Volvo XC90s, uh, the unfortunate mishap that occurred in Tempe, Arizona. Well, now it seems that Uber is back on the roads. These autonomous cars are being controlled by humans, I guess in some control center somewhere. Uh, the brakes, which uh, I was told were disabled, are now enabled. But uh, this is interesting because there are so many drivers for Uber and Lyft across the country, around the world. What will this mean for them? We've seen the lawsuits. We've seen that Uber... Uh, likes to call these folks independent contractors, but at the same time, they have to buy all their equipment. It's their car that's being basically, uh, uh, you know, uh, depreciated. Uh, we've seen the cuts. We've seen the money that they really make. Because as riders, we assume that the drivers are making good money. And unless the drivers, from what I gather, unless they're driving Uber Black, Uber Lux, or Uber Select, they're really not making the money that we think they're making. That's why I always make a rule of thumb to always tip because Uber will not take any percentage out of the tip that a rider leaves for a driver. And I wanna show each and every driver that I appreciate them. I will never ever not tip. I really try to make it a rule of thumb. Even if I'm going to the supermarket, which is a mile away, I'll still give a dollar tip, a five star and a compliment Generally, though, I don't take one mile trips. Generally, I'll take a trip, you know, three to five miles is the average. I generally leave two to three dollars tip, a five star rating, and a compliment. Uh, airport trips, usually five to ten dollars. Uh, recently, I was at the airport, or I, recently, I was at a competition that I was covering in Akron, which was the NPC North Coast Championships. I got a heck of a great deal flying out of Cleveland. So I actually took an Uber from Akron to Cleveland, which is about a 55 minute drive. Actually, it's about an hour and 15 minute drive, but my driver got me there in 55 minutes. So I tipped that driver $15. Uh, I know that that's not how usually a lot of people tip. I always thought that riders always tip, but from what my, a lot of my friends that are drivers say, they usually don't get tips. So. You know, now we see Uber probably going even further in the direction of basically saving money, making money, and Xing out the drivers. So I think after the Tempe, you know, misfortune, tragedy, uh, I was almost convinced that Uber was going to scrap its autonomous uh, fleet. But, you know, I think Uber, Lyft, and a lot of these rideshare companies, their number one priority is money. Of course, uh, safety is up there, I'd like to think. But uh, the cars are back on the road, and uh, although they're being hawkishly watched, as some articles have stated, you know, uh, hopefully there won't be any more tragedies. But the question is, will autonomous vehicles, in the end, replace drivers? Is Uber uh, and Lyft essentially a short-lived future for these drivers?